Hi YouTube, this is our fourth video tutorial of showing how to program Zelio Logic. In this video, we will show how to use SFC function blocks using steps, using uh, and uh, we implement a circuit. This circuit. This is a circuit of starting a slip ring three phase motor. Let's see, let's uh, have a look at what we have to do. First of all, we have to press the start button, then the KM contactor will close. After a little time, the KR one conductor will close after a little time the KR contactor KR one contactor will open and close and the KR two contactor will close and after a little time the KR two contactor will open and the KR three contactor will close this and this is our goal and specifics and every and every time we will have and if we need to push the uh, stop button or we haven't con or the overload will be energized the motor have to stop at every step now let's program the Zelio to do what we want. First of all, we will need three inputs. This will be the stop input. This will be the overload contact input and this will be the start input so we will need outputs Output we will the Zelio outputs will drive the contactors. This will be the KR one contactor. This will be the KR two contactor. This will be the KM contactor. And this will be the KR3 contactor. Now, let's display all the comments. You know what we have to do. We will need the, this resettable initial step. Always we have use an initial step when using SFC function blocks or steps or whatever else you want to say it with this input we stop all the steps and with this input we have the transaction to the next step so we will need a hand faction block and the uh, hand function block that we will drive this the hand function block will be the stop and the overload here we are here it is the reset 
and with the AND function block we will achieve the transaction uh, sorry, we will achieve the transition important to have a clear circuit so we won't mess up at any way so now let's insert the step function block we also we will need a timer for the transition here it is Let's connect them. Our timer must be a delay on timer. Let's say that we will use five seconds for transition to the next step. We will need an OR function block to drive the KM contactor. Here it is. We will have the same step again. This we will reset our timer when we are at this step the KM contactor still remains closed and the KR contactor will close we repeat this step At this step, the KM contactor remains closed and the KR, KR2 contactor needs to close. This is our final step, we won't use any time. And this step must be closed, the KR3 contactor and the KM contactor. And now we have to close the loop and use this input to reset the loop let's make it more clear now let's close the loop Let's simulate the circuit. Let's
this. Run it. The simulation. If the overload protection is energized, the circuit can't start. The motor doesn't start. No one contactor will be energized. If the, if the stop button is pressed, it's happen the same. First step, the KM contactor is energized. Second step, the KM contactor the KR1 contactor are energized. Second step, the KM contactor and the KR2 contactor are energized. And third step, and the final step, KM and KR3 contactor are energized. If we push the stop button, all Contactors are de energized. We press start. We press stop at the first stage, and the KM contactor is de energized. The same will happen if we uh, have an overload error. At the second step, we press the Stop button and the overload and the KM and the KR1 contactors are de energized. Now, at the third step, oh. Ok, at the final step we push stop button and everything was de-energized again. Let's see what happens when KM and KR2. Now we press the stop and everything de-energized. That's our circuit, that was our goals, we achieved it all by using the SFC. function blocks. See you on my next videos. I will hope that videos will help enough. Bye bye. See you.